Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving another homemade exponential equation. I, I keep calling these equations homemade because I came up with this idea, but these equations are very easy to come up with. I've probably seen a similar problem somewhere. I can't remember. If you did see a problem like this, feel free to share with me. I'm not offended, you know, um, but I kind of try to come up with, um, you know, an idea and this idea can be come up with anyone. Anyways, so we have this 4 to the power 16 to the power x, and that is equal to 16 to the power 2 to the power x. I could change the basis, like I could make 4 and 5, 2 and 3, but that would make the problem a little harder, and we would probably have to use um, logarithms. We're probably going to use it again, but at least the bases are relatable, which means they can be written as powers of the same number. And in this case, it's 2, because notice that the very, very base, 4 and 16, are both powers of 2. So I can write the 4 as 2 to the second power, and then 16 to the power x is just going to stay like that for now, and 16 as 2 to the fourth power, and then raise it to the power 2 to the power x. Great. Not only this is nice, but also the powers, the exponents are also powers of two. That's that's what's really nice about this problem. Kind of like bragging about myself. Like, hey, I come up, I came up with a really cool problem. No, not really. But you get the idea. And please challenge me by coming up with a problem using threes. But that's not easy because with the twos, uh, you can kind of manipulate a little bit more. I think. I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong. So now here's what we're going to do. If you have a to the power x to the power y, that is a to the power x, y, or vice versa. And you can also switch the x and y around, right? So the power of a power, or some people call this superpowers uh, property, uh, gives us 2 to the power 2 times 16 to the power x equals 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power x. So this is what I meant by powers are also powers, because notice that this 2 here is a power of 2, and this number is also a power of 2. 16 is a power of 2, and 2 is a power of 2. So we're going to be able to easily combine these easy, right? A lot of people are probably saying like, oh, this is easy. What the um, easy? Okay, cool, cool. Let's go ahead and solve this problem. Uh, here's how we solve it. What is 2 times 16 to the power x? This is 2 times 2 to the 4th to the power x. That is 2 times 2 to the 4x. And this is 1. So this is 2 to the power 4x plus 1. That's going to be our exponent here. And what is 4 times 2 to the x? Let's simplify it so that we can just keep writing it. Uh, this is 2 to the 2nd times 2 to the x. And this is 2 to the power 2 plus x. Or you can write it as 2 to the power x plus 2 if you want. If you're obsessed like me, like if you have OCD, then you'll probably write everything in standard form. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't have a lot of uh, CD, I think, like about uh, other things, but especially when it comes to mathematical expressions, I think I have a little bit of OCD. Anyways, so this is what we get. Let's go ahead and place uh, the results. So we got 2 to the power, 2 to the power 4x plus 1. Actually, I could do the following. Let me go ahead and do it sim to simplify things a little bit. Since these bases are equal, I'm just going to equate the exponents. Make sense? So 2 times 16 to the power x is 4 times 2 to the x, but I'm going to replace them with these. So this gives me 2 to the power 4x plus 1 equals 2 to the power x plus 2. Awesome. What am I going to do with this? Nothing. Again, we have the equality of the bases. You see a lot of twos inside or within twos. And now we got the same basis, same exponent story. 4x plus 1 equals x plus 2. I don't know if you were expecting to get this, but we get a fraction. 3x equals 1. The answer is rational. I didn't plan it to be that way. I just kind of wrote the problem and then I solved it. Sometimes you write a problem before you solve it. And then I solved it and I no realized, hey, this is a... This is not irrational or no logs are involved. But of course, you can write a problem that involves logs. And this brings us to the end of this video. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.